When the bombs started dropping close enough to see them, these refugees from Ukraine decided it was time to go. Tatiana and her 13-year-old son grabbed what they could and fled their home in Mykolaiv, heading for the border with Moldova. She tells me the sky was full of rockets and they had to run to their car and hide. They ended up here at the Perkari Winery, about 15 miles from the border crossing. At the start of the war, the winery opened its doors to Ukrainian refugees. How grateful are you to be here? She tells me she is grateful but anxious. The calm here scares her because it was calm in Ukraine too, she says, before the bombing started. Eugen Commandant is the Perkari Winery's chief operating officer. He says they've helped more than 5,000 Ukrainian refugees, housing as many as they can at the winery and putting the rest up at nearby hotels. It's our duty to help the Ukrainian people, as our duty as Moldovans, uh, because the heroes, the Ukrainian heroes that are, that are now fighting off the Russian armies, they're also our heroes, they're also Moldovan heroes, because they're also protecting us and our families. Here we also met Yulia. She fled Mykolaiv, Ukraine, too. How close did the bombings get to you? <sighs> Through tears, Yulia tells me how the bomb hit her house, but they managed to escape to the basement. They were lucky. This is what the house looked like after being hit. Yulia's daughter is here with her, but her husband stayed behind to fight. She tells me she's anxious being so close to Transnistria here, the breakaway territory where about 1,500 Russian troops remain. Eugen took me out to the vineyards to show me just how close they are to Transnistria. That over there, all you can see, that's uh, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And that one there, you see, that's actually Transnistria. And the rest is Ukraine. You realize how close Mm -hmm. the war is to us. Mm -hmm. Karina Tomofti helped coordinate the winery's refugee effort. In the first week here in the restaurant, uh, we made a real uh, bedroom, a large one. They were sleeping here. They were sleeping in this room? Yes, yes. Because uh, the whole hotel uh, was full. So this is a guest book that we usually have for our guests. This guest book, usually reserved for paying winery guests, now filled with messages of thanks from Ukrainian refugees. You see a lot of the blue and the yellow Mm -hmm. uh, of the colors of the Ukrainian flag. And of course, they are messages of peace and of thanking uh, the Moldovan people for helping them. And this one here means? No to war. Niet Vainier, it says, no to war.